Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy, and I wanted to elaborate from my previous video on the three things that have really kind of changed my teaching game. And this is for number two, which is Cam Twist. Cam Twist is a digital effects program that is only for Macs and it is free. And it is a digital effects program that allows you to put pictures and effects and all kinds of cool stuff right on your video feed um, within your VIP Kid classroom. Um, so I, this is kind of like the 101 super basic version of Cam Twist. If you just downloaded it today and you're interested in it, but you don't know what it's all about, then this is the video for you. So first things first, Cam Twist, the icon looks like this. Sometimes when you open it at first, nothing will pop up on your screen. If that happens to you, just make sure that Cam Twist is up here in the gray bar. Click on view. You want to open the main window and then you also want to open the preview window, which is where I am right now. This is going to show you exactly what is going to show up on your video feed in the classroom. So you want to make sure that you can see this when you're setting things up so you don't put an image you know, right over your face. Once you, the first time that you open this up, um, you're going to need to click on your webcam. This window will be black until you click on that and then you'll be able to see yourself. So that's step one. Over in step one, the only two things that I use here are webcam and desktop plus. The other things are not things that you would really need to use in the classroom. So just don't worry about them right now. Step two is effects. There are a lot of effects in here. There's lots of different ones. There's uh, bubbles can come up on your screen. And um, my favorite one is down here, the twirl. I like this one. I used this one in class this morning. My kid thought it was hilarious. Um, there's a lot of different ones here. There's the squeeze and the stretch. So, you know, <laughs> all these ones that are from um, Photo Booth and so forth. So those things are all in there. If you want to use them, you can. I don't really use them that much. Um, the ones that you're going to be using in here are Image Overlay, which is right here. Um, anything that you select here is going to show up in this little box over here. And this step three box, the effects in use, is the box that you're going to be using the most often because once you have loaded items in there, you will be turning them on and turning them off using these little check boxes. So Image Overlay is any pictures that you are going to put up on your screen. The other one that you might end up using um, is the, where is it, text. Hello world, you can change the text to say whatever you want. You could make it say teacher Amy and then use this little black dot here to drag it down to the bottom of the screen and then just leave it there and you have your teacher Amy at the bottom of your screen all the whole time. You could use it for vocabulary words if you wanted to. You could put a word up and have your student read it. Um, you can change the color of this and you know you can do all kinds of stuff with this um, text stuff over here. I don't really use the text that much. Um, so the uh, pictures that you want to put up on your screen, let's say you are doing a lesson about an apple and you're teaching the word apple and you want to put an apple like right here on your screen. How do you do it? Super simple. I'll show you how. You're going to open Safari. Don't worry about all my Facebook stuff going on here. You're just going to search for Apple PNG. PNG files are just files that have a transparent background so that you don't have like a white box surrounding your um, image when you, where did my preview window go? There we go. You won't have a white box surrounding your image when you put it up on your screen. It's not the end of the world if you do, it just looks nicer in the classroom if you have a transparent background. Now I have done this one before, so I particularly know that this Apple is an actual PNG file. Sometimes just because it has the checkerboard in the background doesn't necessarily mean that it's a PNG file, but usually it does. I'm gonna do a two finger click on this and I'm going to save my image to downloads. Now my downloads file folder happens to be down here because that's where I put it. If yours is not, you might have to go look through your, um, your finder and be able to find them here. But wherever your downloads folder is, that's where you're going to open. You're gonna go find the apple. I've done, I've done several versions of this tutorial, so I have several apples here. You're gonna go find it, you're gonna click on it and just drag and drop it right into that box. Oh, there's the apple, super cool, but it's over my face. Um, we're gonna fix that in a minute, but first, the very first thing you wanna do before you do anything to change the apple is to name it. Because eventually you are going to have a lot of different pictures in this box and you wanna be able to know which ones you're turning on and turning off so that you're ch showing the right picture uh, at the right time. So we've named it apple, let me turn it back on again. These settings over here, are for size. You can make it as big or as small as you want, and this little black dot moves it. 
So you put it right there. Ta-da! Ah, ah, Apple, instead of using a flashcard. Super cool, right? Um, there's other things that you can do with it too. You can make the image kind of like transparent and there's like other things, but this is 101, we're just sticking to the basics. So that's it. If you wanted to add, you know, a ball, buff, 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 ball to this one, you would just do the exact same thing. You'd go over to Safari, search for the ball PNG, click it, download it, open your downloads folder and drag and drop it into the box, rename it, resize it and place it where you want. Then when you're actually teaching the class, you turn these off until it's actually time to use it. And then when you want to say ah, ah, Apple, you just click on it and there it is. That's it, guys. It's really, really that easy. Um, same goes for any text that you want to put in here. If you do want to put Teacher Amy, I had X out of it, so that's why it's not showing there anymore. But um, if you want to put it at the bottom of your screen and you only want to have it there for your you know, greeting when you first come into the classroom, then you can just turn it off. And then for your next class, turn it back on again. It's very easy. There is a way to save these setups. So if you have Apple and Ball and you know that you're going to be using those two, like in the pre-VIP trial, um, then you can save that setup so you can use it again later. But that is, again, kind of a Cam Twist 102 thing. So don't worry about that right now. This is just very, very basic how to put those image on your, images on your screen. Um, I think that's it. So I hope that you guys got something out of this and please let me know if I can help you. You can comment, let me know. And I hope that this helps you guys out. Happy teaching.